Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you've been keeping up with any of my videos, you know that the future is upon us and we've been kind of keeping track on new laws, new EPA restrictions, and some of the refrigerants that are being phased out and refrigerants that are now being introduced to our market. And so one of those refrigerants is R32. We've talked about it in a few other videos and it's kind of the refrigerant that Daikin has signed on for. And if you're not familiar with Daikin, there's pretty much one of the largest companies in the world for making heating and air products and also the USA. They own Amana and the Goodman product lines as well. And so I wanted to do this video because Daikin during the making of this video is one of the first, I believe they're the first company to bring one of the first products to our market here in America that uses this new refrigerant or one of the new refrigerants. So I know some of the other manufacturers are saying they're going to use a different refrigerant. And so that's a whole nother topic. During the making of this video, the Daikin Atmosphera, Atmosphera, maybe I'm pronouncing that right, Daikin Atmosphera wall mounted heat pump system has been launched. So you can actually buy it now if you have a Daikin Comfort Pro in your market, you can buy this product. And it's not just, oh, we're using R32. Uh, you know, now we've come out with this new product and now we're using the new refrigerant. Um, I think that the Atmosphera actually is a pretty cool product in itself, despite that it's using the new refrigerant. And so we're gonna go through that in this video because I want you to know about it. No, I'm not being paid by Daikin to do this video. I am doing this to help you if you are a homeowner or in the market for a ductless heating and air system. So as I said, the Atmosphere is a heat pump system, so it does heat and cool. And I'm just gonna go through this really quick. The Daikin Atmosphere single zone system is Daikin's first ductless system to use R32 refrigerant. And so you know, I don't think that's actually 100% accurate. I think the way that should read is it's their first ductless system to use R32 in America, okay? So uh, as I understand it, and as some of you have pointed out, there are other parts of the world that is already using R32. As the only manufacturer of both HVACR equipment and refrigerants, Daikin's dedication to next generation solutions encompasses design, technology, comfort, and performance, while also taking environmental impact into consideration with R32, a refrigerant with lower global warming potential than R410A. Okay, so again, if you've been keeping up the phase out of 410 has begun. Whether you knew it or not, it has begun. And just over the last couple of years, we've seen a jump in price regardless. But during the making of this video, 2022 in America, an act has been passed, a law, and they're saying, you know, we're starting the phase down. And so they've already reduced it by 10%. Daikin Atmosphera is ideal for spot cooling and heating needs in residential and commercial spaces that require heating and cooling, even in extreme ambient temperatures. That's one of the things we're gonna talk about, okay? Stay tuned, please don't move on yet because that I believe is one of Daikin's strengths in comparison to other ductless brands. So whether you're in a really hot climate or you're in a really cold climate, some of these mini split inverter systems are now being able to operate at extreme temperatures where they never could before. Without some sort of backup heat source, now they're being able to operate at those lower temperatures. In addition, Daikin Atmosphere is an effective source of heat for replacement of old inefficient furnaces or boiler systems. So again, this is a wall hung mini split, you know, so you're still gonna have the head on the wall, but this guy, other than just the new refrigerant, it also has some really good performing potential. So we're gonna go through that. Ideal solutions for hot and cold regions where homeowners want to enjoy reliable, energy efficient source of heating and cooling, primary living areas, for example, master bedrooms and living rooms. So we're, you know, if you have a particular room in your house that you spend a ton of time in, I think is what they're saying, that if you want maximum comfort in those one area. So you might have a central heating and air system, but you might have one particular room that you're just going to have maximum comfort. It's going to be the exact temperature you want it to be almost always. Uh, that's the cool thing about inverter systems. If you didn't know, and if you haven't watched any of my other videos, 
please do because inverter systems are more than just they're more efficient, right? So that's an argument that I've had in the past with people that, you know, they say, well, it's, it's not worth it. The efficiency isn't worth it in my market. It's not just about efficiency anymore with a lot of these inverter systems. It's about comfort. There's no more dead band in some cases. That system is constantly running and ramping down where it's drawing very minimal energy. So you're seeing energy costs go down but they're still being able to operate at a comfortable temperature that you have it set at. Uh, it's also ideal for hot or cold rooms or rooms with poor airflow. Aligning with goals of decarbonization and electrification, moving towards clean energy, an effective source of heat to comfortably offset older or inefficient sources of heat using fossil fuels and a lower GWP, global warming, refrigerant, reduce emissions at the source, utilizing a refrigerant with lower global warming potential compared to conventional refrigerants. Another thing to point out, this system can be used with the Daikin 1 thermostat. And if you're not familiar with Daikin 1, that's kind of their cat's meow thermostat that can be connected to all kinds of things, including air monitors and accessories and all kinds of things like that. And it's communicating thermostat, so it can actually talk with your systems. And then finally, this system can be controlled with their Wi-Fi uh, control app. So it's called the Daikin Comfort Control App. Control it anywhere in the world, blah, blah, blah. We've talked about Wi-Fi thermostats in other videos. Check those out if you have not. But uh, so let's get through the nitty gritty here because again, I, I think there's some highlights of this system that you should know about if you're considering a ductless system for your home, that this system is probably at least just as good, if not more superior than a lot of the other systems on the market. I, you know, I, I think there's other brands that make great ductless units and, I, and I'll probably say this, I know it'll be controversial, uh, but I have installed other ductless brands, ones that are very well known, ones that have a very good reputation, and ones that a lot of other heating and air guys will only install that brand. They won't install any other brand, right? They think it's just the, the best and they will only install the best. Well, I dabbled with Daikin and installed some of theirs only to find out that those companies that think they're the best only think that, that it's actually not true. And one thing where... Daikin maybe falls short on when you're comparing apples to apples on SEER ratings, but it's an inverter system. So it's going to be more efficient than, you know, a regular single stage system. But, you know, so even if it's a little short on the SEER ratings, the lower ambient temperatures that their systems can operate at is where they far outshine a lot of their competitors. And I can say that from experience. I don't care what the websites say. I have installed other brands and we get a really cold day and those systems struggle and we put these Daikin units in and in some cases they have no other form of heat. They have no backup heat, they have no other systems and they're heating the home just fine. You know, especially with newer construction these days where everything's built way more tight and way more insulated than years ago and these systems are able to heat that home just fine. So here we go. So some of the features, it's energy efficient. So it's up to 27.4 SEER and a 13.8 HSPF and a 16.3 EER. If you know anything about systems, this is pretty good. You know, this is, I know there's other systems out there that are just as high, but this is still really good. And then we're gonna talk about the enhanced capability in a moment but the heating operation and reduced operating costs compared to conventional lower efficiency systems. Enhanced capacity, so here's what we were talking about, up to 100% rated heating capacity down to five degrees. So if you live in probably 60 to 70% of the US, you don't even see five degree temperatures very often, right? So even here in Virginia, we have some pretty cold winters and it still doesn't reach five degrees outside that often. You know, it, it does, it has, uh, especially where I grew up over in the mountains, we would see some five degree nights, but it wasn't the norm, right? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So this thing has 100% capacity and confirmed continuous operation as low as negative 13 degrees ambient temperature. So up to 100% rated 
cooling capacity to 104 degrees. We're talking about Fahrenheit temperatures. If you're in a market or you're in Canada or somewhere like that, we're talking about Fahrenheit. So just keep that in mind. Just to clarify, if you are somewhere where you use Celsius, it's up to 100% capacity down to negative 15 degrees Celsius. So, and then continuous operation all the way down to negative 25 and up to 100% rated cooling capacity up to 40 degrees Celsius. So, new clean function dries the interior of the indoor unit to reduce the amount of condensation present. So, if you know anything about ductless units, that's pretty cool. Uh, in fact, a lot of ductless units, we have started installing more indoor air quality products than ever, right? Because a lot of them can even mold. So, we'll install UV lights or ionizers in those ductless units, which helps the air that you breathe. New hybrid cooling dehumidifies efficiently even in low cooling loads and maintains dehumidification effect after the target temperature is reached. Built-in Wi-Fi to control your unit via the internet with the Daikin Comfort Control app without the need of additional adapter. So that's huge as well. So we're talking about a ductless unit that right out of the box is Wi-Fi capable. And in case you didn't know, that's pretty, that's not normal. Even the cat's meow systems before this, in a lot of cases, you still had to install some sort of adapter module or some sort of thermostat to be able to control that system by Wi-Fi. And this is saying that, nope, it's out of the box. It's gonna be able to be controlled by Wi-Fi. Pre-charge to serve piping links up to 49 feet. A 50% increase in pre-charge coverage compared to previous models. It also has hot start, which is becoming the norm, but hot start when the heating operation starts or when the unit changes from cooling to heating, there is no cold draft. So basically what they're saying is that system, if it's in heating mode, it will not blow air until it's going to be warm air, right? So you turn it to heating, it's going to start circulating refrigerant, getting it warm, and then it'll start blowing. Comfort mode adjusts the direction and airflow rate so that the air from the unit does not blow directly on the occupants of the room in cooling. When heating, the flap vertically downwards to drive warm air to the bottom of the room. Uh, so this is pretty cool because a lot of these ductless systems have an, I call it an eye, you know, it's like basically it has an eye and it can see you in the room and it'll split the air so it's not blowing on you directly. And that's pretty nice, especially in the summertime, way more comfortable and it's not going to blow that cool air right directly on you. Cooling operation from 50 to 144 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be 10 to 46 degrees Celsius and heating operation from negative 13 up to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be negative 25 up to 18 degrees Celsius. So if you want more information, I'll put a link down in the description to the Daikin Atmosphera. But I just think that, again, this is using the new refrigerant. So if you're already worried about the cost of 410A in the future, if you're in the market for a new system, this is going to have the new refrigerant already in it. So it's not gonna have 410A. And all that said, if you are in the market for a heating and air system and you are in Griffin Air's coverage area, we'd love to earn your business. We'll give you a 12 year parts and labor warranty and a free estimate for a new system. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my website, newhvacguide.com. It's as if I wrote a book, but instead of collecting dust on the shelf, this website can be added, new technology comes out like this we can add it to this website and you will know about it. A lot of the information on there, heating and air manufacturers and contractors don't even want you to know. We've got a whole page called No-Nos. We've got a whole page for good and bad heating and air brands. So before you spend thousands, check out that website. That said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.